Guys, the question says two similar balloons filled with helium gas are tied to L meter long strings. These are the strings. A body of mass M is tied to another end of the strings, which is the common end, you can say. The balloons float on air at a distance r. Dono balloon ke beech ka distance r. The if the amount of charge on the balloons is same, so both have q. Then the magnitude of charge on each balloon will be. Yes, we want the charge on each balloon. That is q ka value. Now definitely we understand that the helium balloon is light in air, so it floats or it has an up thrust, you can say. But at the same time, those two balloons should remain like this. But they are remaining like this because there is a force of repulsion between them. So if I draw any balloon ka free body diagram, then it will become like this. This is my balloon. I can say this is the direction in which there is a tension of the wire. Then there must be the force of repulsion, which is F. Now definitely there is a weight, there is a upthrust, but if you check all the options, you will not find anywhere the mention of upthrust. And so I'm here not finding out or not substituting the upthrust in this particular free body diagram. And if I just resolve this T into two components, well, definitely the theta if I want, I can say if this is theta, definitely this is theta with vertical, which means this angle is theta. Yes, so this component will be T sine theta and this component will be T cos theta. Yani T cos theta ko weight or up thrust mil ke balance kar denge. I can, I'm not interested in taking that in the equation. But yes, F is balanced by T sine theta. So that becomes my first equation. T sine theta is equal to F. Now, if I draw free body diagram of this block or of this point, which is a junction for the two balloons and the weight. So I can say the free body diagram will look something like this. That downward force is Mg. Correct? There is a tension on this side, tension on this side. Both the tension must be equal since they make equal angles with the verticals. Because this is not the force. You can check the two strings and the weight. This means that if the angle is different, then the sign component is the same. Component same ho jate, which means the tension is the same. I hope you understand this. Now, if I resolve this tension, I can say on the horizontal side, we will have T sine theta, which will cancel each other. And on the vertical side, the cos theta components will get added up. And so we get 2T cos theta. So I can say 2T cos theta is balancing energy. So the second equation is going to be 2d cos theta is equal to mg. Now if you check the options given in the question, you will not find tension in any place in the options. Which means the best thing is to divide both the equation and get rid of this tension. So if I divide that, I will have t sin theta upon 2d cos theta, t will get cancelled, sin upon cos will be tan theta upon 2 which is equal to f by mg. Now definitely this mg can be taken over here and I will have mg tan theta by 2 is equal to for f which is the electrostatic force between the two balloons having charge q separated by distance r should be k q by r square sorry k q square by r square q1 q2 right so k q square by r square this will be the formula for force. Now k is a constant which is an electrostatic constant. This value have 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. But here I'm writing this as k because again if you check the options, all the options have a k in it and nowhere you will find the mention of epsilon naught. Which means we are not supposed to substitute this k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. 
So I can take this k and r square on the other side and I will have q square is equal to m g r square tan theta by 2k. So definitely the final answer q will be m g r square tan theta upon 2k the whole raised to half. And this will be your final answer. I hope you have understood this. Please copy it.